Hey guys, this is Rage Gamers here. This is me, myself, Ash, and with my friend Emily Hi. here. Hi. Yeah, so this, today we're going to be doing the Ratchet and Clank Awful One uh, commentary. We've promised that we'll send it to you, uh, upload it quite a while ago. We didn't get around to it because we're lazy <laughs> bastards, but finally we decided to. Yeah, do it. So we're just watching the commentary from uh, Gamescom at the moment. This is actually quite old footage, but we haven't really done much of it, so we'll just start here. So, I just want to know, Emily, what do you think so far of this game? What's your I impression of it? I think it's a really great idea for the series, you know, four players, people have been looking for it for a long time, and it's just, it looks really good so far. Yeah, it does look really good. That's the um, part that I'm most uh, excited about, the four player, because I prefer... Uh, I pref when playing online, I prefer cooperative than competitive any day of the week. And if I can have, if I can have cooperative in one of my favorite franchises of all time, then that's something that is look I'm going to look forward to. But the strange thing is, you've got, as you can see here, you've got Nefarious Clank and Quark all working mm -hmm. together. That's kind of weird. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. It's I do enjoy the idea of evil working with good, though. It's something different. Yeah, it's something different. We've seen them fighting out, f fighting it out to the death, just about in almost every single game, about pretty much pathetic issues. So now it's interesting to see them all work together. But the thing is, they're all the same height. Yeah. Look, that's pretty weird. That kind of annoyed me, was the same heights, and it's just wrong. Yeah, and yeah, and the artistic design doesn't really match my, like, appeal to me either, personally. Yeah, I don't know. Did you just see that? And if... Yeah, Nefarious has saved Ratchet. That was so yeah, kind. Yeah, it's just... I don't mind the idea, but... Just some of the design in here I, is really different from the from the last one. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like um, the standard Ratchet and Clanks, but of course we have to give exactly. it a chance. But the thing is, yeah, that Ratchet and Clank isn't really getting much attention, especially with um, all the major releases coming out this year. That Ratchet and Clank, this game has managed to escape quite of a bit of attention. Yeah. Would you say? I've. Yeah, it's a shame. Mm -hmm. Especially as a Kraken Time was considered ma a major release last year, and but this year all the majors, all the major releases such as Skyrim, uh, Dark Souls, etc. Yeah, they've all taken the attention <laughs> a bit much. A it's bit, a shame because this looks like a really good game. It has all the different yeah. ideas of cooperative and strategy. Yeah, it does. Yeah, puzzle uh, shooting. But the thing is, like, what I've pl played of the beta, it doesn't really feel like uh, some of the old Ratchet and Clank games, especially Deadlocked or uh, Gladiator, felt like a shooter, but this doesn't feel like a shooter in any means at all. It feels pure platforming. Yeah. Like, 100% platforming. No shoot, almost near to no shooting mechanics around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I do like shooters. I prefer third-person shooters, but I'm okay with just platforming. That's what Ratchet and yeah. Clank should be. Well, my problem with Deadlocked was just it didn't really have much interest other than shooting, especially since you couldn't do head-to-head -head and all that, and that's one problem I had because I like to do head-to-head. -head and yeah. Yeah, I did. I did like Deadlocked. It was a really good game as as far as the gameplay was concerned. Not so much with story or anything else, but yeah, I'm not a massive shooter fan myself. Uh, first person shooter fan myself. I love third person shooters, but this but this has a broad appeal. And he's, another thing, this looks a lot like Little Big yeah. Planet. Yeah, you can definitely tell with the grapples and whatever else. Yeah, I've played Little Big Planet a lot, especially in Little Big Planet Two. You can see. Like the swinging from uh, swinging from uh, together, holding onto each other. Yeah, that is such a little big planet mm -hmm. trademark. You can see the differences though, yeah. like having to yeah, obviously we'll use all four people to swing across and yeah, yeah, it's obviously c uh, completely different, but it's mm -hmm. still great. It still looks pretty cool. Yeah, I've played this part in the beta. It looks yeah, it's pretty fun. This and like the standard boss battles, you don't just uh, shoot, duck, cover. You actually have to think about what you have to do to get past, uh, to get kill the boss, and you have to actually, actually have to think about what you're going to do next. Have to help each other out, yeah. that sort of thing. It's a yeah, it's a pretty cool th aspect. 
What do I don't really like though, there's like it's a really cartoony look yes, of the game. Yes, I like I said before, it's very different from the original, which I'm from the last one. I mean that I really liked because of the real, more realistic yeah. graphics and yeah. Yeah, and it's photorealism. You get games like Crisis 2 and Heavy Rain that have massive photorealism. But of course, there's no harm in having a cartoony and art style. I like cartoony art styles yeah. myself. But it, yeah, it's not always a great thing. But yeah, I want to know, are you going to be getting this oh, game on definitely. launch? definitely. Yeah, I'll be getting it on launch too. Funny thing is, Batman Arkham City comes out on the exact same day. I'm kind of disappointed because, yeah, I will have no time to play both mm -hmm. of them, but I'm going to try and get both without yes. question. Yeah, I've looked forward to this for quite a while mm -hmm. now. When I heard, ra yeah, I know I heard this coming out, I was pretty excited, but I have to say my heart sank when I saw some of the features of it, but it looks pretty cool so far. Yeah, exactly. Well,. Some of the stuff in here, you think of it, and like, especially with the pre-orders, you look at it and it's like, is it really worth it? I would rather just get the game for the sake of getting the game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to... The only collector's edition I'll be getting this year would be Skyrim, and that's not even worth it. I'm not going to pay... Yeah, it's hard to pay 100 extra bucks for a whole uh, game guide and other accessories, but it's even harder to pay for uh, games such as these. But yeah, that's about that's about all there is.